Whoa, whoa, where's Mel? Oh, she's not here. She's a ghost. Spooky, she's not here. Oh, God, what are we gonna do? All right, we're starting this shit. Cool. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, yeah, new. F What's this guy's name? Roman? Yeah. I, I like how you're befriending like adults. That's like that's a little weird. What magazine is that? Uh, why are you looking all like stupid? Uh... <laughs> all right. So wait, what's our what's our what's our mission? We're uh, finding ten yaoi. Ten Yowie. Okay. Or as Lauren would say, twiddling the bean. Go find mosquito. Yes. Twiddling your bean in there. Flicking the bean. Flicking the bean. Why would you flick your clit? Like, you might hurt. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't It's just a lexicon. I just follow it. Alright. I mean, I just do right. the rubby rubby. So, the the, the rubby dub dub. The what? The rubby bubby? The is rubby that, dubby. Is, oh god. So yeah. I'm supposed to go see him. Yeah. Oh. Alright. We'll go see him. Let's dance. I mean, not literally because I don't dance. Who are you let's fighting? Okay, Sixth let's graders. Not, Mason, you don't want us to play South Park? He's all like, why did you have to do Crash? Well, you know, Mason, you could have showed up earlier and then you could have voted. Yeah, but no, I'm sorry. You're probably please, too too busy looking at Betsy and her all her roles. Are you fighting sixth graders again? Yeah. He's <laughs> setting them on fire. What grade are you in? I think you're a fourth grader. Yeah. Oh, that's badass. Yeah, they haven't, they haven't, uh... They haven't gone past fourth grade yet. They, before they were third graders, and then I remember that like a new season was all dedicated, like, oh, it's the fourth grade years. Oh, I forgot we got butters on our team now. No, that, that's that's Kyle. <sighs> oh, it is Kyle. Shit. Sorry, it's a new session. I I don't remember. Wait, that's not butters. No, that's Kyle. Well, it's because he's got like a fucking hood on. It's. He's not wearing his hat. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. And apparently you also have Craig. I don't remember any, any oh, I, of this. Oh, no, wait. I was thinking of when you were playing. I don't remember any of this. I was thinking of when you were playing Stick of Truth. So if a guy with no legs gets into a fight with a guy with no arms, who would win? So far up your ass, I'll be able to help you floss. Um... My turn now. Yeah. The guy with no arms. Really? Because... The guy with no legs can just grab the dude's legs and pull him down, and then he can't get up because he's got no arms. But that guy's probably in a wheelchair, and the guy with no arms could just roundhouse kick him in the face. See, I'm picturing them, no wheelchair, there's just a guy, just, just, he's just, he's like this, he's got no leg. he's got no arms, so he's gonna be like, got eh. no legs. He's gonna be like, eh, and then the other guy with no legs is just kind of walking around with his hands. No, I don't think he's doing that. So, if the guy with no legs is in the wheelchair, what was the guy with no arms? I think kinda... that Chuck Norris could beat them both without arms. Chuck Norris isn't even Without in this arms fight. or legs. Yeah. Chuck Norris is. Don't include he's Chuck. He's just a torso. I know, and he wins. <sighs> Chuck Norris. T <laughs> torso Norris. That's what I'd like to say. See? Lauren gets it. Oh, so Lauren's going with the dude with no arms? Because he can just kick the other guy. I'm thinking the guy. Roundhouse no legs could just grab head. the legs and pull them down. That's what I think. But the guy can still kick when he's on the ground. Yeah, but not as good. Still do it. He can kick him in the. He can kick him in the nuts. Well, the guy can just punch the dude in the, the nuts. The arm guy can't kick him in the nuts. You can punch him in the nuts. But whatever. My money's on the guy with no legs. No arm guy. Oh, that's, that'd be sad. I'm that we can wrap walk up. around with no arms. How would you masturbate? Yeah, it'd be pretty sad to walk around with no legs, too. Oh, wait. <laughs> Whoa! That got dark. Holy shit, that hacker just dropped a fucking nuke. <laughs> Why would the- why would the- there's no wheelchair, says Danny. Okay, this is What no, happened? Okay. What does the so guy no, do? Does he just walk around on his stump? No, this is what- he- he came he there- He walks with his penis? No, is he- that what's going no, he on? came there in a wheelchair, but he got yeah, out the he wheelchair. Came. <laughs> he came in the wheelchair, yeah. Okay. He came in the All wheelchair. Right. <laughs> Come on. I'm sure that's happened before. Well, I'm sure, too. 
Dude, like, Hagger, are you getting your ass kicked? Yeah, um... Whatever, I still trouble. maintain that the guy with... You just lost both your teammates no already? No would win. Did he throw a pee ball at you? Yeah, a pee balloon, yeah. Gross! I forgot that's their... their technique. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Technique! Technique! Ooh. Oh, you're grossed out. Ew, nasty. So these people just think That's it's for you, fun to... I don't know, man. Go for the kill. Go for the kill. balloons and throw them at people? Yeah, they're sixth graders. What do you expect from them? Did you do that when you were in sixth grade? No, although Did I remember... Did in balloons and... No, I remember people? one time... Never mind, I'm not gonna say. Tell me, tell me, tell me. No, I don't tell want me, to Tell me, tell me what no. you did. What'd you do? Oh my no. god, I need to know. Alright, so I was a freshman in high school. Oh god, you weren't even in sixth grade. What? Freshman in high school, I was in ninth grade. I said, oh my god, you weren't even in sixth grade. Those kids oh, in sixth oh, grade. I see. Alright, well, just anyway, go ahead. You were a freshman in high school. I was just douchebag. It was just... Just a douchebag. I, I can't stress that enough. He was just an asshole. And, uh, so one time, I just had enough. So, you know how sometimes people would cut holes in, like, water bottles and they become squirt bottles? No. Well, that was a thing. I didn't know that. I you never had And you'd go it. around, you'd, like, poke the hole in the bottle and you'd be like, Walking in the hall, like, like squirt, squirt, gotcha. Like when you shotgun a beer, like that kind of thing? Yeah, kind of like okay. that. So I peed in this bottle. Oh my god, no you didn't. And then I went to his locker, and I poured it through like the opening at the top, and got all the stuff with pee. I don't pee. feel like I should be back in this alley. You got him with pee, or? Yeah. No, I got him with pee, yeah. I got all the stuff with pee, at least. I peed in his locker with the water Did bottle. Did he know? I don't know. Did he beat you up? I don't know, he switched schools. I never seen him. I never saw him after freshman year. <laughs> he switched schools because you peed on him. I don't know if that was the reason. He just left. I just... So wait, what did he do to make you so mad? He's just an asshole. Oh, I need specifics. He was mean to me. So, I, I don't get... I don't get... I don't get mad. I just get even. He was mean to me. Like this one time, this one guy's like a fucking douchebag. And I know what car he drives. I just want to pour bleach in his gas tank. No. Oh wait, this is now. No, this was back. This, this is all in the past when I was more spiteful. I Put just... baloney on his car. <laughs> you know, I always heard about that. Is that actually true? If you put baloney on the car, like really fucks up the paint. I don't know. I think so. Oh. Oh. Well, we made it to raisins, guys. Yay! Mason, are you drunk? Yeah, Mason's drunk. Hitting on Danny. <laughs> well, I mean, you hit on Danny and you weren't drunk, so... So whatever. Danny likes to get hit. <laughs> Sorry, I only follow psychic right. superheroes. <laughs> Can we just talk about the fact that there's... <laughs> oh, wait, maybe something else happened. What? She said... Mason said, Neko Danny, why are you so hot? <laughs> And she said, I don't know, I turned the heat off. <laughs> <laughs> Shaving cream fucks up the paint. No, I'm pretty sure if you put bologna on... I think that's a myth. That's I like, think if you put bologna on a no. car on a hot summer day, it'll fry up the bologna and no, that's, fry off your paint. That's like putting a banana in the exhaust pipe. It, it doesn't actually do anything. Yeah, that's funny, though. <laughs> Can we just talk about the fact that there's a ch child's, like, hooters... Like thing at play here. This, sure, yeah, this is still disturbing. This is a little Spender. disturbing. Although I'm sure this is probably the least disturbing thing in this game. Is that Mosquito Man? Did you ever work at Hooters, Mel? I'm not hot enough. Well, that's a trick question because you got shitty titties. Oh my God, my down. <laughs> you'd be. You'd you work at Bunnies because they're all about that bun. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. Are you gonna fight Hooters girls? Yeah. Oh my god. Defeat the Raisins girls. Oh shit. <clears throat> I wonder what their attacks are gonna be. Oh, I was gonna say, is there a butt version of Hooters, but it's Tilted Kilt. Tilted Kilt's a butt version? No, they just wear short I don't know, skirts. That's just what I think. That's, that's how I view it. I'd work there. 
tilted kilt. You're not even Scottish. I'm sure most of those girls aren't. Ugh. What was I looking up? I don't know. Oh yeah, know. baloney. Baloney on cars. Well, baloney. So strong. Baloney on cars. Yeah. Well, well that that's works. I'm just gonna Google baloney on car. Watch, we're gonna fight it. It's like while you're there, also look if putting sugar in the gas tank does anything. Okay. Did you just hurt your own dude? Why are you... Hagrid, did you just set your own dude on fire? I did. Why? Because he's like under a spell. Oh, oh, okay. He, he's, he's charmed. Oh my god, oh my god, just cut his face. Yeah, Danny, I remember the episode, I, the episode where they had the raisins and Butters fell in love. I forget the name, I think her name was Lexus. Um, so yeah, apparently it does work, and also, egging a car can- Egging a car, alright. Can fuck up the pink, too. Alright, Laura, we'll see you later, thanks for stopping by. Bye, Lauren! Say goodbye. Bye, Lauren! <laughs> right now, say you're sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Man, the fight is like. I probably shouldn't have. Everybody is just all over the place here. You, you should probably take them out one at a time here. Fuck this bitch up. Was that like a tag team? Yeah. She out? Nice. Alright, she's out. <laughs> Who are you gonna do now? Do the one that's like. Battered already. Like All right, she's gone. Uh oh. Oh, she's slow. Does that means she's stupid. Like my mama did my daddy. She's stupid like Mel. Don't you want me? Am I annoying you? Am I annoying you? Tell me stop. I can stop annoying you. Tell me when to stop. I'll stop annoying you. I'll stop. Let me tell you if I'm annoying you, Mel. Mel. Let me tell you and I'm annoying you! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did he fart on bees? <laughs> Who set him on fire? Oh wait, you did. <laughs> Ma Mason does not like this game. He does not like this game at all. <laughs> this is fucking dumb. Sorry, Mason. Jeez. We wanted to play Uncharted. Nobody else wanted that. Yeah, everybody was voting for uh, 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 South Park. Blame Danny. She's the one that wanted to. Uh, yeah. She wanted to vote. Danny, I haven't put an actual banana in a tailpipe for real, but I, I hear that that actually doesn't. I think they did that on MythBusters. What? They, they they put a banana in like a potato in a tailpipe. It doesn't really stop the car. Mm. If anything, it backfires out. You like potatoes? I think we've had this discussion before on like how much you like potatoes. You can do so many things with potatoes. I yes, you can. Did she just leave? She was she's like bitch. I'm outie. You you gonna beat her up? What are you doing with Craig here? Oh my god! Oh by the way, can everybody hear the? And then uh, this is this is only to the live streamers, but can everybody hear the game? Okay. Yeah, can I hear the game? Also, I forgot to say hello to the people. That yeah, are I know. You, you fucking started the episode. You were you even fucking. You started without me. I was oh in there. God. I was in there diddling my doodle. Yeah, diddling your doodle. That's. A... Oh God. Uh. <sighs> I think Mason is hammered because <laughs> he is just laying it thick on Danny. He is just—he is just laying down the smooth McGroove there, huh, Danny? Well, Danny's not talking about putting a banana in the tailpipe of a car. What tailpipe? That just—is that like 
Look, if fucking I'm on your team, but kid, terminology for an asshole. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna fuck your tail, yeah, fight, bitch. I like, think she's asking if any of us have ever had butt stuff, sex. Butt All right, what should be my kryptonite, guys? Sixth graders, raisins, girls, chaos kids, old people, ninja, vampires, or crab people? Crab, crab people. people. Crab people. Oh, Danny was talking about a car. You dumb beaver. Danny says I'm not talking about a car. R O F L. Bed, bed, bed. I was talking about. I'm it. not talking about. I'm a reading car. the chat right below that. I know, but bitch. First, she said that she but wasn't. But bitch, it don't matter now, bitch. Bitch, you gonna get backhanded. Bitch. I don't care if you're wearing glasses. Whatever, whatever. I don't care. I'm wearing you, glasses too. It I don't care out. if you got herpes on your face. I don't care if you got herpes on your penis. You don't That's know where that. I got the herpes you, on my face. Whoa, oh, no, not true. You tried, you heard about David talking about that dick slap stuff, and you were like, I gotta do it too. <laughs> no. <laughs> you gave me the herpes. You're herp. really bringing up the dick slapping again. Yeah, Jeets. <laughs> did Hacker go, yeah, Jeets, when he did it? No, Jeets has herpes. So you win, yeah, Jeets. I don't have herpes. Her, no. If anything, God I would, damn it. I would have gotten herpes from somebody. It's the nice thing about not having sex a lot in my life is I don't have any STDs. <laughs> I guess that's one positive way of looking at it. Additional fried chicken. <laughs> oh no! Damn Are you being shot? Did you just die? You fucking. All right. Well, I can't go in there. So, approximately, how many times have you had sex in your life? Oh, I haven't. I mean, I've sex. Ha I've had sex with a total of three people, but I haven't individually counted the. <laughs> Should I've done this? Should I've been taking a tally? Did I? For I just. I didn't know if it was so little that. You I would say. I times. would say it's at least triple digits. No, really, triple. Digits. I, I guess so. Three point five. Times. Three point one five. No. Three digits. No, no, like. Ugh, never mind. Honestly, don't know. Three times in a handy? Why? I don't. <laughs> Dude, hand jump is the worst. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <that> guy. <laughs> yeah. You're just kind of like it sucks because like it. You, you, whenever when somebody's getting it, whenever a guy's getting a hand job, he just wants a blow job. Well, it just sort of feels like to me that like if someone's giving you a hand job, like you could just do it better yourself. Pretty much. That's I how mean, I, I guess feel. it's nice if there's a different hand doing the work for you. Yeah. I just. That's true. But you can't give yourself a blowjob, so. Uh, I mean. Oh. I mean. Have you talked about this? Have you tried sucking your own dick? Not you, Mel, of course, but. I have tried sucking my own dick. Okay. Uh, Danny says, what's the longest you guys have gone without sex? Well, Danny, right now I'm running on two years. <laughs> uh, uh, mine's the same as Mason, six months. No, I don't, I really don't need to know the last time you were drilled. All right. No, that's not the last time I've had sex. That's the longest I've gone oh, without oh, I having see. sex. I should probably have sex. Again. I mean, unless you count eighteen years before. Does anybody want I to have sex? Sixteen with years when I before I had ever had sex. Does anybody want to have sex with me? Mike, don't bore yourself. <laughs> <out>. <laughs> I feel like two years is stretching it a bit. I just. I guess I'm going this way. I, I don't I'm only I feel getting. Like it's not really giving me a lot of direction. To I'm only getting game. older. I don't think he's answering. I don't real. I don't. I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. I'm. I'm gonna go with the like 18 years before. I guess. Oh my god, that's right. I'll do it. Uh, the longest time I've had sex is all the time before I had sex. <laughs> I'm gonna right. go with it was more than 18. Okay, it was whatever. more than 18, but whatever. Sorry, kid. You didn't Come have back sex when you were 18, did you? About. He didn't. He didn't? No. No. It was like way after. Okay. I remember. Well, 17. It was 17. You're not me. It was 17 for me. The unplanned parenthood. Let's <laughs> see if we can go get an abortion yet. Oh, jeez. Oh my god. What? Danny says she'll have sex with you if you put a paper bag on your head. Alright. Can I be a smiley face, though? I mean, if it's been two years, he's probably willing to do about anything. Yeah, at this point, I don't care what your backstory is. This is as long as you're willing to have sex with me. Should we uh, buy any of these random things? Well, what does it even do? Just... They're components for... 
I'll get the old gladiator condom. old gladiator condom. condom. If this doesn't work, please, I'm thank you. I'm just gonna buy one of everything. Easy pregnant. <laughs> Alright, we got the erectile dysfunction pill and the easy pregnancy test. You got pregnancy test things here? Stop talking to Liv. Stop talking to VIP Liv. What do you? What did you just ask about pregnancy tests? Yeah, you got some here. No, why the fuck would I have a pregnancy why test? Why you want to be pregnant? <laughs> you will be if you pee on a pregnancy test. <laughs> Is that Pepper it? When guys pee on pregnancy tests, it says it comes up positive. Does it really? I swear. I mean, this is I nobody's tried it. Oh, but. fucking sixth graders! Is that the reason why it comes out positive? Because sometimes when they're having sex, like the guy pees in the girl and they get no, some no. of his pee in there. Maybe that's why there's false positives. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna Google it, but I know I read right, it somewhere. Alright, alright, I Google that shit. I'm not gonna Google about that. No, Google your it. Your stupid thing. No, please. I wonder if that's a porn category, peeing in a woman. Probably. Yeah, at this point, I think So, you know, do you know the, you know the band NoFX, right? Yes, I do. Alright, so I follow Fat Mike on Instagram. Yeah. And he literally posted a picture of a condom filled with piss yeah. that he wore while he was fucking his wife, and he peed. Oh, he... He peed, like... The way was... you put it, it seemed like he peed in it first, then put no, it on, no, and no. then had sex. No, so, okay, so, he's fucking his wife, and then he's like, I gotta pee, and she's like, just like... pee. Is this where you came? Well, and so she did. Is this where you fucking came up with the fucking thing where, like, you're talking about, like, what if a girl was just like, oh, just pee at me? Is that where you got that from? Yeah, okay, <laughs> I think so. I okay. think so. I think that was like right after I saw, it, and then I didn't. Okay, tell you I think the that story. was from a Mario Maker episode. What happens when? What happens when you pee on a girl? Pees on a pregnancy test. Take your medicine for these. Mori Povich comes out and is like, you are the father. Got room for like a whole hamburger now. Man, what's with all these sixth graders? Well, no, they're fucking everywhere. <laughs> they're all everywhere being saw sixth grader and shit. Fuck. Oh, okay, so here's what it is. If you pee on a pregnancy test and it's positive and you're a guy, it could mean that you have testicular cancer. Holy, no. No, what? what? From what site? Are you getting this from some garbage? Medical daily. Medical Daily? If you <laughs> pee on a pregnancy test, you might have testicular cancer. It was literally a story about a man found out via a positive pregnancy test that he had testicular cancer. No, get some pregnancy tests. I might have to check if I have testicular cancer. Right. I have to check if I have ball cancer. Uh, I'm gonna tell you about this story about a co-worker of mine who had testicular cancer, so he, uh, he had one of his testicles removed, obviously. And I asked him, like, are you out of balance because you got, like, one ball now instead of two? Like, don't they give you, like, apparently they don't do, they don't do, uh, like, prosthetic testicles anymore. Because... But that was a thing before? Yeah, like, kind of like boob jobs with silicone. Um, they would do that with testicles. But apparently there was issues with them, so they stopped doing it. So, he works at a second job in security with another guy who got... He lost, he lost his, oh, shut up, Danny. <laughs> he lost his right testicle to cancer. His coworker lost his left testicle because oh, he, his, he, uh, his, uh, he was fucking this woman and his husband came home and he shot him in the nuts. So they're you both mean, like- Do you mean her husband came her home? Her husband, or? yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, no, he's not gay. Oops. <laughs> So I mean, they, were, they have this by. joke. They have this joke like, "Well, if we put ourselves together, we got a full set of balls here." Hey, that's a good. That's <laughs> a really good pickup line to get a threesome. I can't imagine. Like it. that's a really good startup. Like I feel like I, I feel like you have to say yes. But it's a threesome with two guys. Well, hey, you can't. Would be you have a threesome with two guys? Oh yes. <laughs> you would prefer two guys over two women. I don't know that I'd prefer it. I don't- you're asking the wrong person, like... Why? 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 would I care? Why? You gotta ask another guy if he'd have a threesome with two guys. No, it doesn't matter. Would you have- would you have yes. sex with two guys or two girls? What? If there were- if there were four people, two guys and two girls, and they were like- the girls were like... 
Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. And the, the guys would be like, we'll fucking drill you. Wait, like, three which, girls? No, there's two girls and two guys. There's four all together. Yeah, I understand that. So you're... The scenario is either I have a, a threesome with two guys. Oh, yeah. And me. Yeah. Or a threesome with two girls and me. Wouldn't it be a guy, a girl, and me? Okay, all right. There's six guys. There's six people. Two guys, two women, and then a guy and a woman. So you either got the threesome with two guys, the threesome with two women, or you got the, the combo matchup of a threesome with a guy and a woman. Why do I have to choose? I like all the scenarios. No, you gotta choose. Time. You gotta no, you gotta choose. All right, I'll take the two guys on Monday. No, <laughs> this isn't a fucking weak package. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure that that would be fine. What would be fine? All right, fine. I'll take the two girls on Monday, and then the two guys will totally have a threesome anytime because <sighs> okay. They're guys. So let me just say that you would prefer two guys. <laughs> one behind you, one in front of you. If I'm corrected, right? <laughs> you don't know my life. Okay, all right. Sorry. Sorry to assume. Maybe I want one of them slapping me in the face with their penis. That's still one guy in front. There's this one. I forget. There was a stand-up I was listening to. And uh, the um, he he's telling me about a time when he had a threesome with Ron Jeremy, the porn star. And he's... He is... Um, He's obviously Wait, getting sucked off. Somebody threesome with Ron, Ron Jeremy. Jeremy. Yeah, this is some stand-up comic. Also, hello, JC. Hey, JC. Long time no see, indeed. Welcome back. I'm just about to explain about how I heard about a stand-up comic having a threesome with Ron Jeremy. He's in the front getting his dick sucked, and Ron Jeremy's like plowing this girl in the back, and actually, like, he thrust it so hard, like the girl actually like went up and actually like deep throwing him, oh. and he like he looked up at Ron Jeremy, he's like, <laughs> like he did it intentionally, like. Wow. When you, you ever been, said... You ever, been, you ever had, have a threesome with a guy and his dick so big that he actually fucks you through a woman? <laughs> when you said that someone was going to be in front and someone was going to be in back, I thought you meant that... What? Like, someone was going to be in my butt. I, again, I, I like, apparently... I don't know your life. <laughs> that's I, true, that's it's true. fucking whatever. That's it's, true. I don't think I could ever have a threesome up? with a girl and a guy because I... I, I self-conscious but then again I have enough I, I have enough trouble pleasing one woman so I don't even think I've had threesome with two girls so I mean I probably just wouldn't have a threesome what, what about with two other guys you didn't two other guys didn't explore that scenario that's probably no it's not work either no can't Anyone oh it's the mayor three dicks are too many three dicks are right too many dicks the mayor follows you all right, well, no way, we'll, we'll, we'll see what's going on at the mayor's house next time on the game couch. Oh, you got an artifact. Yay!